Anytime we went for a family meeting, it felt like I was the odd one out. They made it look like it was completely and entirely my fault. I cannot try to tell them, warn them, to mind their businesses, but no. They made sure they rocked my childlessness in my face. And here I am today, expecting the unexpected. Woo! Congratulations! Congratulations! Big congratulations to you! Thank you, thank you so much, thank you. Let's break up! Thank you. Sorry, excuse me. Oh, you might excuse me. Careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, sir. No. I made it very clear that we are under no obligation to submit the documents without prior notice. I have a signed contract that back it up, sir. Yes, sir. All right, sir. I'll make sure I call them so that this doesn't sprout any issues that may set us back. Right away, sir. Thank you, sir. call you're taking today. Today, of all that we begged you to set aside, to celebrate our long-awaited baby. Why? Oh yeah, give me the phone. Give it to me. Give me. I stand up. Easy, easy. Oh, easy. Stand, stand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. My gift first. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, um, I have put everything in order. So all I want you to do is after consuming that, go upstairs and sleep. You have still not given me my phone yet. If I have my way, I'll go home with this phone. You say waiting. I better give me my phone before I consume you next. <laughs> but girlfriend, you, I think you should just slow it down, okay? Besides, don't they give attendance in your office? They do. That's after the child has been born. In my calculation, though, you still have a month to go, so... I'm only pregnant. I'm not handicapped. So please, stop forcing. Besides, doctor says it's good for me to stay active, that it would help in childbirth labor. Just think about it, please. Hello. My people. 
how much you have to help. Mm -hmm. Did you feel that? Ah ah. You want to hear that voice? Yes. I want to hear that voice. How you doing? Oh my God. Okay, dude. We're off. Okay. okay. Good night, lovers. <laughs> Adrian, thank you so much for everything. The thank you that I need right now is making me to be her godmother, that's all. <laughs> no one else is qualified for that position. Oh, that's very good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, good night, Bye. guys. Bye. 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 Take care. Good night. Bye. Good night. <laughs> she has been so amazing. Yeah, right. And controlling too. <laughs> I can imagine. All right. Let me go get you. Okay. Your food. Yeah. Babe. Are you okay? Yeah. No, just rest your back. Come on. What is it? I, I, I just feel a bit dizzy and side pangs of headache. In that case, you need to see your doctor. Mm, my next appointment is not until ending. Babe, relax. See, you know what they say, right? Consult your doctor if you feel any pain or sign. It's nothing serious. I think it's just stress and tiredness from all the activity. Mm. Don't worry. Once I get your food, I'll just go upstairs and sleep. Now. Well, I'm no longer hungry. When I want to eat, I will go to the kitchen and serve my food. <laughs> For now, I want to spend time with you and the beautiful baby. You know, the two of you are the most <laughs> precious gift I have in this world. <laughs> Come here, baby. Still acting this way. But I said I'm sorry. See, I want to go home. I'm tired. Or should I get a cab? It's okay. It's okay. I'm going. Contrary to what they gave us, corporate lies are not new. But why would they lie? Because they want you to acquire their company for the exact amount stated. So they give value that isn't in the company to it so that you and other competitors can bid higher. I don't know. I mean, everyone believes they are the largest and hottest in the market. If that were so, why then are they selling? But you know what happens when we don't take this, right? You don't make an offer. And lose the bid? Wouldn't it be better to lose the bid than lose millions to an empty shell? What do you think? <laughs> I think you should go with it. Yes. Everyone knows that the God sense is a good mind. And looking at what's on the report is most likely to jeopardize your chances. Very well then. We'll go with the bed. Um, sir, ma, I do not think this is a good idea. But your colleague disagrees. And so do we. And that makes it four against one. We're going on with the deal. Okay, very well then. 
gentlemen, lady, we'll be in touch. Thank you. Why did you do that? You know what would happen to the company if anything goes wrong? Yes. The chairman put you in charge. But that does not mean I will take everything that you say. You gave them a contrary opinion just to spite me? Spite you? I gave them my opinion based on what they want. And I honestly did not see any reason why they shouldn't have what they want. Are you sure about this? 200% sure, sir. If I wasn't, I wouldn't present this to them. But what beats my imagination is why they would take what Smart says over what I say. You know, sometimes the heart wants what it wants. Even in business? Yes, of course. The fact that um, several others wants it makes this even more unbelievable. Then they should be glad they hired. Sir, we are not going to let them do this. You put me in charge and I'm saying beyond reasonable doubt, this is my verdict. That means we stand to lose them if we don't give them what they want. Our job is to help secure safe and profitable investments. This is not one of it. If we go ahead with this and it turns out I'm right, which I'm 100% sure I'm right, then we stand to lose other clients. <laughs> You can go. I'll take care of it. Hello? Yeah, this is Dr. Doom. I want to speak with your MD. Continue at all, at all. Mom, please, can you stop? Four years! You're telling me to stop. Four years of fruitless marriage. Eh? Eh, Kenne? Mom, please, I beg you in the name of God, stop. You just got here. At least sit down, rest. Eh, Kenne, I will not sit down and I will not rest. Look, listen to me. If Ima does not want to give you children, I give you the permission to look elsewhere. Because I need children, oh. I need my grandchildren. What is it? Hold on, Mom. Have you ever tried to imagine or think that I'm at fault here? Yeah! To fear what? No, what if the problem is actually mine? God forbid. Back to sender, back to sender, back to sender! Huh. It can never be your fault. Your father put three children inside the stomach and I gave birth to you guys. Eh? Your father too, in their family, nobody ever has ever heard anything about barrenness, neither in my own family. So it cannot be your fault, Ekene. Look somewhere else. I mean, you're, you're, you're taking... 
Babe. Yeah, babe. Welcome. Welcome, Mama. I didn't know you were coming. I would have been here to welcome you. Ah, you don't need to know I'm coming. You do not need to know I'm coming at all. If you had littered this house with children, with my grandchildren, they would be the one to run in and embrace me and a better representative of you before you come back and tell me welcome. Don't tell me that I don't like that sound. Don't say that again. Please don't get me angry. What is that sign for? Eh? Hey! Chineke! Hey! Again? Help you! Chineke, is that what I'm thinking? You are pregnant! Help you! Help you! Help you! Where is she going to? Where are you going to? Hey! Nah! You see that shoes that she's wearing? She cannot wear it, She cannot wear it. You're pregnant, you cannot be wearing that kind of high heel, eh? Biko! Hey, hey! Ekeme, you are a man. Ekeme, you are a man. Ekeme, you are a man. I just can't believe her. Oh, babe, you know my mom can be extra sometimes. I know. But how does one just switch from judging someone to automatically rejoicing for the person? One who has waited for a long time to welcome her first grandchild. Mom, you're not supposed to be here. Meaning? Because you're both gossiping me? Hmm? Why did you not tell me you were pregnant? With all due respect, Mom, you have given me no reason to tell you anything. What does that mean? Excuse me. Again? Hmm. The question is, why did you not tell me your wife is pregnant? Oh, please. And why is she acting like I did that evil by pushing her into conception? Oh, please, can we just leave this matter for another time, please? I can't have this conversation right now. Please. You can't have this conversation right now. Hey, what? Mama. Babe. Babe, please come out. She's gone. Tell him to come, that dinner is ready. Oh? 
Okay. My son. Again, I prepared your favorite food. Sit down so that you and your wife will eat. Huh? Sit down. Eat. Oh? Eat. Hey! Hold on. Hold on. It's very hot, though. I made fresh orange juice for you because I know it's going to be good for my grandson. Oh, I am coming. Let me bring it. Yeah? Who is that woman? She looks like a grandmother that never existed. I pray she stays long enough before the Dragon Queen returns. People have not started eating. Eat! My wife, eat! Or is the food too spicy for you? Hey, look, let me tell you something. In my day, eh, when I had him, I used to eat a lot of spicy food. It just brings out, you know that thing that draws in the mouth? It will take all the saliva off your mouth. So eat it. It's good for my grandson. Oh, let me save your husband first. Huh? Yeah. Hey, sorry. Uh -huh. It is your turn. Huh? Drink it too. I prepared it because of you. Drink it. You want me to feed you? Huh? Eat. I can eat food. I just want to take care of my grandson. Eat, oh. Eat. I can feed your wife. No, what are you doing? Yeah. I still do not know what to do with her. Well, let's see what this new high is all about. Does that mean that she can stay? Mm, still your decision to make, baby. You know it still beats my imagination. Why, despite obvious reason, Smart still wants clients to go ahead and purchase Godson's. That's their business. As far as I'm concerned, you have said your own part. I just pray and hope that they listen to you. You won't kill yourself for them now. So. My wife. You need to sleep. Why are you not sleeping? The computer and sleep. You need rest, and my grandson need rest. Eh? Eh, yeah. Let your wife sleep. She needs to rest. Be cool. Close the computer and sleep. Thank you, mom. Be cool. You need rest, oh, and my grandson need rest. Okay. Eh, can I help your wife to sleep? Okay, we'll sleep now. What's her problem? Must she control everything? She had better stop insisting the child is a boy. Ugh, just no problem. Is it me? You're talking about like that, in that manner? Hey, what? No, no, nobody, nobody talks about you. Nobody talk about me? So you did not hear her when she was talking about me in that manner? No, mom. The way you enter this room now, is that, is that right? So you are listening to our conversation? Will you keep quiet? What is wrong now? Ekene? Are you forgetting yourself that I'm your mother? So you did not hear when your wife talked about me in Nama. So you, you have started teaching my son how to also talk to her, talk about me. Anyhow, Ekwa? <clears throat> Listen, let me tell you something. Eh? You better be careful though. It is because of that pregnancy, my grandson, that you're carrying. That is why <laughs> I'm going to let it go. If not, what I would have told you, eh? For 13 years, you will not sleep. You will not find sleep like this in your eyeballs. 
You're sitting down there, somebody's talking to your mother anyhow. I just say, hey, she did not insult you. Let anything happen to my girls when you will see me. Don't sleep. Babe, I'm sorry. Babe? Are you okay? Yeah, fine. I just keep getting shots of dizziness and pangs of headache. In that case, we need to call the doctor. No, no, no. There will be no need. I'm fine. I'll let them know my next antenatal. Oh, babe, we can't wait that long to fix this. Don't worry, I'm fine. The doctor cleared me on that. I'm alright. I still insist that we inform the doctor. Too. Don't worry, I'm fine. There's nothing wrong. I'm just hungry, Joe. Give me something to eat. Alright, I'll go get you fruits, okay? Yeah. I'll get you fruits, okay? going to walk like this. Like how? Yeah. Yuma, you are pregnant. Don't be stressing yourself like that. Look, I'm a woman. You are due any moment from now. I have given birth to three children, so I know what I'm talking about. Go and rest. You should be resting. I'm fine, Mama. I don't need rest. No, you're not fine, no. <laughs> eh, what are you saying? Eh? What did you just say? <laughs> Ima, we waited four good years, four years, so if not five, for you to give us a child. And now you're pregnant and you want to risk it. Ima, go back inside and go and rest. This your work can also wait for five or four years till you give birth. Go inside. Eh? Go and rest. Please, I'm going to work. Eh, eh. Bam, 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 bam. You're not going to work. Oh, please, don't go to work. Mama, why are you treating me like this? I'm only trying to protect my grandson. He might go inside, go and rest. It's not a boy. Stop calling her grandson. Once again, it's not what? What is her? Who is her? Ah, you're carrying a her. Okay. Hey, to make a move. Ha. I told you I will call you already. I've been calling your husband, but he's not been taking the calls. Stop calling him. Why are you calling him? Don't tell me that. Oh, because I haven't been there with your brothers to warn him, right? Mom, this is the reason that makes me not to tell you anything. Is it until he kills you that you get out? Mom, he won't kill me, okay? So stop worrying. I'm handling everything here. I'll tell Emma too. Hey! Don't do that, please. Don't tell Emma. She's almost due and this is not nice for her. Ejiro, please. <sighs> See, what you will do is this thing. Just listen to me, okay? Who was that? Huh? I asked a question. So you told your mom I've been hating you. What did you tell the chairman? 
Excuse me? You have no right to barge into my office the way you just did. What did you tell the chairman? <laughs> What's all this about? Listen, that you're put in charge of the Godson's project does not make your ideas or your opinions superior to mine. Oh, well, it does. You are just a coward. You understand that, right? Smart. Did I just hear you call her that? I'm sorry, sir. No, not yet. This coward, as you so call her, has saved this company from a lifetime suck simply because your ego could not listen. In our previous meeting with uh, Bullion, I boldly told him that we would not be part of the deal if they went and still want to acquire Gossens. I advised him. They listen. <laughs> but. <laughs> Uh, grudgingly, of course. But why they were still deliberating, another competition came up and they got it. And by so doing, they lost everything completely. Well, you saved them. You did. I thankfully listened to you. Mr. Bullion has requested for a meeting with you and a contract renewal. Wow, that's yeah. amazing, sir. Yeah, great work, great one. <laughs> um, to show our appreciation, I want to let you know that you still have a place with us. And promotion awaits you, where you know who's arrived. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, thank you so much, sir. You deserve it. Thank you. You deserve it. <laughs> Come, follow me. Uh. Uh. What? What is it? Mr. Oh. Kenneth, what is it? What is it? What is it? Mm. Talk to me. What is it? Mm. Mr. Kenneth, hmm? mm. get my driver fast. Hurry. Something is wrong. Just, mm. just, just relax. Mm -hmm. You and the baby will be fine. Mm. Just relax. Get a uh, uh, mass delivery bag. She's been rushed to the hospital. Mm. Uh, no, mm. please. My wife is in labor. Just get ready. Let's go to the hospital. Although Ejuru is with her, but I want you to come with us. I'll be waiting here to receive your daughter when you bring her home. Oh, go. Ah. Mom, you see that you didn't hear what I said? I said my wife is in labor. Let's come to the hospital now. And I just said be going. I will be here to receive your daughter when you bring her back home. Is it you that is not hearing what I'm saying? Eh? Be careful. Telling me, did you not hear what I said? Somebody that prayed for a, a, a baby boy, your nan gave me a daughter. And I'm telling me, you're the one that did not hear what I said. <sighs> How's she, doctor? She'll be fine. Deep breaths in. Out. Hey, talk to me. This contraction, when will it stop? Yes. yes. I, I can't really say. The thing is, it's usually different for different people. Right now, she's barely five centimeters dilated. And she needs to get like 10 before the baby can come out. Oh, she's in serious pain. <laughs> <laughs> Experiencing any headaches and blurry visions? A um, couple of times. No, no, no. More than a couple of times. Mm -hmm. Why do you ask? Mm -hmm. okay. I think something is wrong. What is it? Why? Mm -hmm. Why do you ask? Hey! 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 Doctor! Hey! Doctor! Hey! 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 Doctor! No, no, no! Hey! Please do something! Hey! Doctor! Hey! Doctor! Hey!
Babe. Babe. You're weak. How are you feeling? <laughs> Easy. I can't move. I know. The doctor says you can't do that right now. C-section. They needed to do it quickly so as to save your lives. Listen, babe, you'll be all right. Hmm? Our princess has been yearning to have you, I mean, to meet with you. Everything is fine. <laughs> The doctor, I need to know what's wrong with me. Oh, babe. Please, just relax. Nothing is wrong. I have been through hell and I am lucky to be back. I need to know what's wrong. Oh, please. You just had a baby. That's what's going on. Relax. It's painful. They didn't tell me it's anything compared to what I'm feeling right now. Can you please just call the doctor? Please. All right. Just hold on. I'm so glad you are up. You scared us. Are you okay? What do you think? Uh, 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 oh. Hey! Yeah. I'm glad you're up. How are you feeling? Doctor, what is wrong with me? Um, you're... Uh, you're fine. Like, you're, you're very fine. Doctor, just let her know that she'll be fine. That's what she wants to know. You seized because you had developed eclasia. You cleared me on my last antenatal. I know I did, but you should have come to me when you had these symptoms. Your body had to go through so much, it shut down most of your nervous system. Is that why? I can't move my body. Uh, no, no, it's, it's because you, uh, I mean, you just give birth, so you, you, you need time. This thing works with time, right, doctor? So just give it time. You doctor, Kulu doesn't look it. I feel like crap. I can't move my body. Oh, I need to know what's going on. Nothing is going on. What I'm saying is you took drugs, right? You need time for the drugs to work. That's what work it is. Work on what? Okay. Doctor, please, can you excuse us? Please. Okay, I'll see you.
Babe, you've not even heard our baby. Babe, look at her. She wants you. I need to know what is wrong with me. Doctors are doing everything possible. So I felt like I don't even know what to say to you right now. I don't know how to tell you that. That. That, that you will not be able to walk. Hey, no, no, that, that, that didn't come out well. I mean, it, it's temporary. They are doing everything to fix yes, it. You'll yes, yes. Yeah. Just, just calm down, please. from in my situation is that life is too short. I can't lose my, my ride or die on something stupid that I ever did. Did? You hit me at every slightest provocation. I had seven miscarriages in the process. Huh? Please. This will never happen again. Ever. I'll get a psychological help if I can. You have said this countless times and you never did. I mean it this time. I'm sorry. I got something for you. This will fix it. No, it won't. But I will do everything possible to prove to myself and to you that I've changed. Metro, I love you. Find a place in your heart to forgive me. I'm deeply in love. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. my calls. I've been calling you since I'm not picking. Do you want to give your mother high blood pressure? Good afternoon, Mom. Yeah, good afternoon, Mom. What is it? Hey, Mom, please. Yeah? I'm in a hurry. I need to pick something for my wife and my baby. Yeah. You're angry. 
I, I am not ready to have a conversation with you. Please. Una, come back and talk to your mother. Eh? Talk to me. Just leave me alone. Nah, I am sorry. Eh? I'm sorry for not coming to support you. I'm not sorry. Mom, I said you're not sorry. Yeah. We've been in that hospital for a week and you refuse to show up. How do I show up to a place I don't even know? Eh? Do I even have the, the address of the place? How do I now show up? Even your siblings don't even know the address of the hospital. And don't raise your voice. I did not train you like that. I see. But I asked you to follow me to the hospital. Hmm? When I asked you, what did you tell me? You said you would rather stay in this house and wait for her to return. That's what you said. Which mother will open her mouth to say a thing like that when she knows she's expecting her grandchild? Eh, don't be angry, mom. Eh, calm down. Don't be angry. Just that that's your wife. Eh? When she now told me, eh, no, I'm going to have a baby girl for you. I was like, baby girl? Who needs a baby girl? When I was expecting a baby boy. So they did just scattered me. Baby, baby, baby girl. Mom, hold on. Let me understand what you're saying. You mean you didn't come to the hospital? Because we're having a, a baby girl? Huh? Ah. Nah, calm down. I just finished cooking. Let me go and I don't need your food. You need it. I don't need it. You need Sincerely, I, I didn't, I didn't realize that this could happen. They said it's a rare case. It happens a way one out of 50. It's sad that my woman happened to be one of them. It's sad, man. Look, I can I just calm down, all right? Maybe we could try it elsewhere. Probably fly her out and she could try other doctors. Okay? They try to reach other doctors you're talking about. Yeah. But he all said the same thing. I don't know what to do. What I'm thinking right now is what do I say to her? I mean, we've been looking forward for this day. We've been waiting. Now it's here. I don't even have the right words to say to her. Jeez. It's okay. It's okay. Very beautiful. Doctor, the doctor has cleared us. We can now go home. What's going on? Nothing. I'm just excited that I'm going home with my babies. That's all. But I still can't walk or move my body from the waist down. 
if there's nothing they can do about that for now. You're joking, right? I can't joke with anything like this. I'm serious. Where's Dr. Akudu? She's not coming. Fine. Then I'll go to her. Listen, babe, just, just calm down. This, babe, just, babe. Babe, 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 come on, doctor, easy, 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 doctor, my dear, I understand you've gone through a lot, but please, I need you to go easy on yourself, so we don't have to go back to the theater, are you with me? Your body cannot take any more incisions, please. Please take care of her, please. So much time with those people. Those people, you said? I'm beginning to feel you're avoiding me. No, 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 I'm just trying to help. They're our friend and they did us now more than ever. I need my wife. Okay, see, we'll talk about this when I get back, okay? No, I want you now. You're hurting me. <laughs> You're looking at your grandmother like this. Is it that you're not used to your grandmother or you are hungry? Ah, oh, she's hungry. Okay. Hey, don't worry, your mother will bless you. Mm. Hey, Give me Um, let me go change her clothes okay. and then get her food ready. Yeah. Okay, no problem. Thank you. And yeah. uh, let me help. Mm -mm. Fed with artificial milk. I do not understand. 
that the mother is crippled does not mean that she cannot carry her child and put it on her crippled legs and then breastfeed her. Mom! Dad. Mom, I need to see you. Don't forget yourself, I'm your mother. Come, let's see, to her side. Let's go and see, Mr. C. Be going! Why will you talk about my wife like that in the presence of a friend? Yeah. What did I say that is wrong? Eh? What did I say that is wrong, Ekene? Eh? What did I say that was wrong now? That I said that they are feeding the baby with fake milk as she's crippled. Isn't that obvious? That was wrong. That was rude! Eh? Ekene? Ekene? Do not let me forget my hand on your face. Don't forget that I'm your mother. I did not bring you up like that. Don't talk to me like that. I see. I mean, she can't even accept rudeness. Mom, you can't accept rudeness, but you like to dish it out to people. Especially to a woman who just gave birth to your grandchild. What is the problem? But I begged you. I begged you. I said, please be nice to her when she comes back home. And you agreed. So what is this? But I have not done anything wrong to You've done everything. Now, for your information, the only reason my wife cannot breastfeed the baby is because she's on drugs. Please. This few weeks has really been hectic for everybody. So please, I want peace to reign. If you know you want to continue to stay in this house, you need to drop this, your sentiment. Put it away and start to be like a good mother, not just to me and also to my, my wife. Please. Hey. What is this boy turning into? Huh? My wife, 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 my wife. I don't know what I, it, she's people. <sighs> hey, Mama. So I'm ready. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? <sighs> Listen up. Everything will be all right. You are a strong woman. If there's one thing I know about you, is that you never let your problems weigh you down. You always, always fight back. How do I fight back? Being crippled. But the doctor said it's just temporary. For how long? A year. Two. One day at a time, okay? It's very easy to see when you are not the one wearing the shoes. Goodbye, Ejiro. I need to be left alone now. 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 Thank you so much for everything. Thank you for being there for her. It's okay, Kene. Emma is like a sister to me and I would do anything for her. I know, I know, but still, I still have to say thank you. <laughs> it's okay, it's fine. Um, but, um, I'm thinking she needs some medical help. Ejiro, <laughs> you heard what the doctor said now. Yeah, not that kind of help, but a therapist. Therapist. See, she's going through so much right now. Psychologically, only a professional can help her. See, don't get me wrong. I know we're living in a society where therapist is rare, but trust me, 
That's our only option right now. Do you have anyone you can recommend? Um, I, I think the hospital should. Okay, uh, I'll discuss with the doctor and we'll take you from there. No, it's okay. Hmm? All right. Thank you once again. Stop thanking me. <laughs> Yo. Uh, just stop thanking me, okay? Um, Juru, are mm -hmm. you are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. <laughs> no, you, 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 you <laughs> no, 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 like, it's okay. I feel I'm like fine. maybe you have pains or no, something. No, 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 I'm okay. Uh, okay. I'm fine. Okay, just, All right. Thank you uh, so much. I yeah. need to be good. All right, and you care. too. All right. All right. things that I was doing. Bikum. Oh, please forgive me. Oh, please. I'm sorry. It's fine. Hey, thank you. She's so beautiful. Eh? See how she's laughing. <laughs> of course she's beautiful. Yes. <laughs> See your daddy. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Have you people named her yet? Uh, no, not yet. Eh, why? Um, we're still contemplating on what to name her. Uh, you know, let's say she came earlier than expected. So uh, we've not finalized the name yet. No problem. <laughs> Give her my name. No. Is it me? No, 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 no. Ah, <laughs> no, what no, do you mean by no, no, no? No, what no, I mean no. is I will allow my wife to decide that. Uh, we won't call her easily. Uh, tell her, tell her that I said that she give her my name. Is no, no, name I, don't, I don't even want to call her easily. Uh, what do you mean by you don't want to call her easily? What do you mean by that? Well, I have my reasons. What reasons? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be don't like mind you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me. You will not be like me. You will be a great child. But they will call it Zine. Amen. <laughs> but not <a> Zine. <laughs> hey, beautiful child. <laughs> Babe, your water is ready. Mm -mm. I didn't say I want to shower. Babe. You always take your bath before you go to bed. Well, I'm in bed already. Please. Listen, babe. We're in this together. Don't shut me out. Please. What do you want from me? I want my wife back. You are so selfish. All you think about is you. Try being crippled and see if you will give a damn about anyone else. You for real? I mean, are you saying this to me? Ikene. Ikene, please. I am begging you. I don't want issues. Just let me be, please. My son is a very good son, very good husband. I have also watched him, eh? fused over you since this happened. But you, you are nothing but an ungrateful human being to him. Yes, it is only pregnancy that he pregnanted you. 
help you give you a child. Nothing more. The rest that is happening right now, it is God's will and only He knows. So don't make it look like... Get out of my room! Out! Out of your room. I'm gonna let me go with what I brought for you. Out! Another one. No, sir. That's enough. Hey. If you please, don't tell me what's enough and what's not enough. Hey, thank it's you. Fine. No, look, listen. You don't need to be here. If you leave me alone. I won't. Look, I'm going to call your mother. Remember how she pulled us out of our SS3 graduation party? You want the same thing to repeat itself? Huh? <laughs> okay, if that's funny, you got me there. <laughs> yeah. What's up? Bro, my wife is being so difficult. Anyone would, if you were in her shoes. The problem is, she won't even touch the baby or even name her. Hey, can you're the father. Do the naming. What if I give her a name and she doesn't like it? Stop overthinking. Listen, this is the most period that she needs you. She, you have to be there for her. Yes, I'm not saying you're not trying, okay? But this is the worst they told you to swear when we took our marital vow. You just have to think. Come on, look. What's about this if you if you if you let her go? What's about that? Well, thank you for coming out for me, man. No thanks. Just go home. Your wife needs you. Let me just take this off. No, 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 no. It won't be nice. Please. Bob, please, take it. How much is it? Don't worry, I'll foot the bill with you, girl. Huh? Doctor, um, sorry for calling you this late. No, no, no. They are fine. Everybody's fine. Um, please, I don't know if you can um, recommend a good psychologist for me. Okay, that's fine. All right, I'll, I'll call you to find out more. Thank you. Why are you crying? My son, <laughs> as you see me like this, I'm pitying myself. Because I don't know what I have done to your wife for her to be disrespecting me the way she disrespects me. I don't even know why that woman hates me so much. Eh? Because I went upstairs to tell her, I said, I beg, please be nice to my son. Oh, Biko. And this woman almost killed me. Like anyone, this woman almost killed me. You see this here? Mom, what did you do? What did you just say? What did you just say? 
What did you do? What do you mean by what did I do? I just told you that your wife almost literally like this killed me. And you asked me what did I do? Why are you asking me that now? Eh? Hi! Are you sure this boy is my son? Babe, I want your mother out of this house. What happened? You go ask your mother what happened. Ask her why she came in here to tell me that I am crippled because God wants it so. Ask your mother if she is really your mother. Go get her out of the house right now. I'm sorry. See, I did not mean to hurt her. All. I was only trying to snap her back to reality. Mm, you tried. But you see, that snapping back is not even healthy for her and it's not healthy for any of us. You understand me? So, no problem. You, you tried. Just enter the cab so you can go. Mom, I'm sorry now. Oh, I'm sorry. Mama, eh? no need now. Just enter this car and go. Eh? Again, eh? Look at what you're saying. So you really want me to enter this car and be going? Yes, because I cannot be handling your issue and be handling my own. It will be too much for me. Mama, try and understand. Eh? But again, I did not ask you to handle my issues. I'm your mother. I'm old enough to handle my own issues. No, your issues are too much. You are giving me problem. You are haunting my wife. Eh, she's childless. Now, you want a son. She's crippled. And how, 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 how will I uh, uh, solve all this problem? I'll be solving your own, be solving her own. It will be too much for me. Mama, if you don't want me to die before my time, just enter this cab okay. and leave. Anything you want, I'll be doing it for you, but that will be from afar. Afar, Kwa? Yes. Afar? Mama, yes. Hey, again, again, you're putting my things in the car. Hey. Please, just take her straight. Don't branch anywhere. She tell you turn back, don't turn. Please hey. open this thing. Again, it's me, oh, oh, mama, your mama, oh. Mama, I love you, that's what I'm your telling mother, you. Oh. Am I entered? Am I entered? Am I They want it. Honest you. They want this. Am I the one this? Please start going. Yeah. Mommy is here. Hmm? So let's disturb mommy a little. Come. Aha. Listen, baby. Mom is not in the mood right now, okay? Che -che. Um, babe, we haven't named her yet. I know that Kayla and Cheta were on your top list. So which one do you prefer? 
Hmm? Babe, listen. I have sent my mom away, if that's why you're still angry over what she did to you. Anyway, I, I like the name Cheta. Can we call her Cheta? Call her whatever it is you want to call her. I want to be left alone now, please. I went to the market and I thought it was to shop for you. Uh-uh. Well, you should have stressed yourself now. Uh-uh. Uncle. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bother. Okay. Be serious. Thank yes, you so God. much. Ah. together okay thank you so much anytime and um, I heard what happened with your mom <coughs> see everything will be okay all right so, let me have her <coughs> okay 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 mm. does she have a name yet yeah her name is Cheta Cheta, no, 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 baby. It's okay. Mm -hmm. That's it. She will come out of it stronger, okay? I hope so. I know so. Nini! Mama, she's so pretty. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Just relax, right? Yeah, it's fine. Who are you? Good morning, Mrs. Sekene. I am Dr. Alex, a psychologist from Amazing Grace Wellness Center. You brought me a shrink? Babe, just relax. I mean, you needed to talk to someone. That's why she's here. You brought a shrink because you felt I needed to talk to someone. Well, I'm here to... I was not talking to you. What I need is a physiotherapist and not a shrink. You don't need a physio right now, until your scars are healed. Then I am not going to talk to this woman. Get her out of my room. Well, you need to speak with someone, that's why she's here. You need to speak with her. She's not going anywhere, she stays. Excuse me? Yes, you heard me. Ah, doctor, over to you. Time. Ikene, 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 this woman has to leave my room. Take this, Can I sit? Yeah. Well, congratulations on your safe delivery. Safe delivery? Are you mocking me? Why would I want to mock you? Did he tell you why I can't get up from this bed? Because trust me, if I could, you wouldn't be seated here making a caricature of my predicament. I'm sorry if you feel offended by what I said, but... Why do you think your delivery isn't safe? If I hear you say safe one more time. Oh. Oh. 
How did he go? Seriously, I don't envy the doctor right now. Uh, it's expected. No one likes a shrink. Oh, come on, don't talk him out of this. I'm not. No one is even going to do that. Because she needs this. I mean, I can't just sit down and watch her drown. I don't even have the power, I mean, the energy to keep her afloat. So she has to do this. Yeah, you're right. Um, I, I gotta go now. Babe, we'll see you at home, okay? I'll just be right behind you. I said, I just yeah. said. Okay, you're coming around. Yeah, 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 I'm leaving now. Um, Adriel, please, I don't know, can you hold it down for me a little? Uh, yeah. No, I was saying that I need to do a, I need to do a quick stop at the office. You can just the doctor is still there, and I'm sure she's going to stay like an hour. So, just stay for me. Mm, it's okay. It's fine. I will. I'll be back on time. It's okay. Thank you. Um. Oh, you're hey. back. Yeah. Um. Hey. Idra, I'm sorry I couldn't come back. Oh, no, it's fine. It's mm. fine. So, doctor, how did it go? Well, every appointment is an opportunity to study the issue and understand how best to help the patient. Though, Dr. Kudo filled me in on her medical conditions, but I'm yet to understand who she is, who she was before this. Mm. Okay, so... Um, let me allow you to, to talk privately, no, okay? No, 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 come on, stay, it's fine. If you want us to go inside, I mean, I don't mind, I can go in. Too. No, 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 here, it's fine if you don't mind. All right, you see, my wife is a very calm person, all right? She used to be very loving, caring, she's not that uh, violent, she's, mm -hmm. you know, on the calm side. I don't want to see that woman anymore. Babe? Don't babe me. Just do as I say. Listen, we all are trying to help you. All right. First, start by doing what I ask you to. I don't want to see her here anymore. I miss you. I do not want to see that woman here anymore. Please, I need to be left alone. What are you doing? I want to take my shower. I just said I want to be left alone. If I just come back from work, I need to shower. How else do I make you understand that I need to be left alone? Please! I want to be left alone. I just got to have now. Okay, good. Okay. Leave. I want to be left alone. Mom still wants to talk. Leave. Leave. Mom, can I call you back? Yeah. Okay. I brought you food. I'm not hungry. Go with the food. You know you would feel better if you stopped being this way. You know, right? Hmm?
thought you were not. I couldn't go anywhere. She's everywhere that I go. I am confused. Hey, Joe, this whole thing is my fault. No, I can No, no, don't say that. No, don't, okay? But I got her pregnant. Yeah, but you both wanted a baby. I know, but the way all this is... You see, it's okay. Everything will be all right. Okay? It's okay. Why are you still up? Oh, oh, come on. Oh, I'm so tired. It's 1 a.m. Yeah, I had a lot doing at the office today. I'm so tired. You're still seeing her, right? Excuse me? You're sad, chick. You're still seeing her. <laughs> Crazy. I came back by this time, and all you could do is to accuse me of cheating. Said, go away. Good morning, Mrs. Ekene. Did I not make it very clear that I don't want you here? Yes, you did. So, get out. Shina, I did board you. Have you heard of Shina? I did board you before. Get out! Shina lost his both limbs in a road accident on his way to a major marathon that everyone thought he was going to win. Shina, before this incident, was a never-say-die kind of man. He was 23 when it happened, and everyone thought that it was all over for him. But Shina proved everyone wrong. He's currently the world's top athlete from our very own Nigeria. He still doesn't have his both legs, but he has those dreams. His goals, those gave him wings to fly. Your point being? change of attitude. Yes, your legs are temporarily not in use, but every other thing is still much within you. That's not enough. Being a woman in this world means you have to work harder. And 
I can't do anything in this condition. On the contrary, you can. I'm only trying to remind you of who you are. It is natural for your psychology to play the setback as a failure. What is wrong is you letting it control you. I know you're angry, frustrated, but you are still afraid. Yes, we can talk about us fear. But whatever you say to me, stays with me. to see you. Today is a much better day. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, doctor, that reminds me. I, I'll be going for a short official trip tomorrow. Uh, but Ejiro will be here. Um, okay. As long as she doesn't feel neglected, then we'll be sure to make a progress with her mental state. She'll be fine. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Right. I'll see you. Dr. Alex said you wanted to see me. I'd like to have my bath. You want to have your bath? All right, I'll just get everything ready. No, 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 no. There's no need for that. Just get me something to wear. Let me at least rub you cream. Can you just get me something to wear? All right. What for? I'm not going out. Why are you giving me an outing outfit? Baby, I want you to look good. Cool. Look good, how? With my big belly? Or you need me to remind you my crippled legs? Please just get me something casual to put on. All right, fine. She has refused to sleep. Carry her. How will you pull this up with me holding a baby? A baby?
alone. We need to talk. We're talking. We can't continue living like this. What is it? Where are you going? I'm going to see Inma and the baby. And when I get back, we need to decide what is it that you want. You're my wife. And I don't plan on changing that anytime soon. If I'm your wife, you won't continue hitting and cheating on me. Don't talk to me like that. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry. I won't do that again. Take the bags inside. Ekene is traveling today, so he pleaded I come over and stay with Ima and the baby till he returns. Then why did you make me feel you're leaving because of me? I'm sorry. I'll be back as soon as he returns. Yeah, come in. The door is open. Oh. Hey, Ju. Oh, yeah. Welcome. Uh, thank you. I'm so sorry I'm late. No, no, no. It's fine. I mean, you've done too much already. Mm, yeah. <laughs> um, it's fine. I'm looking forward to spending time with this damn cell. Uh, I'm sure you will have a good time. I'll be away for two days. But if I summarize everything I'm going for, I'll be back before you know it. No, it's okay. Take all the time you want, okay? We'll Thank be you. fine. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, that reminds me. The doctor will soon be on the way. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. It's fine. All yeah. right. I'll see the both of you when I return. It's okay. All right. Take care. Take care. All right. So you look really beautiful today. <clears throat> it's just a shower. Don't make a big deal out of it. It's a big deal. And I commend your courage for taking the first of many great steps. How ironic of you to use the word step when you know I can't walk. Walking means movement. People walk without even lifting muscle. You know, you are in this state, not because of your legs, but because your mind has refused to move from where it is. My mind is conditioned by other body parts. No, scientifically, other parts of the body are conditioned by the brain. And in this case, the mind. I just want to leave this bed and go out of this house. Is that what it will take to make you happy? I want things to just go back to the way they used to be. Things can never go back to the way they were. Are you wishing me bad? I'm only saying there's a baby now. You have a child. Can we please not Talk about that baby. Please. Please tell me why. I'm listening. No. 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 Is everything okay? How can they do this to me? No. How can they make smart the head of operations? The department I, I have labored so much for. Please, no. please calm down. No. Get out! Out! Get out! 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 All you do is sit down and pop those into other people's businesses. Out! Get! What is it? 
to go. I'm sorry. I have to go. To me, who got you angry that you had to do this? Are you mad? What? Are you mad? Yes, I asked you. What gives you the right to think that you can just walk into my house and ask me stupid questions? Go, madam, just go away. Go away. I've had enough of all of you. Go away. You people should just go. Go away. <sighs> You know what? You are such an ingrate. Selfish excuse of human being. Yes! You're not deaf. Now you listen. You have a good husband and a child. Yet you're still ungrateful. Do you know how many women have lost their lives during childbirth? Or do you know how many women have lost their child, but still living. Look at me. Look at me! Yes. Do you know how many miscarriages I've had? Simply because my husband, my own husband, cannot keep his hands off me. I don't want to tell you because you have your own cross to bear. But I still offer my shoulders and I'm still offering my shoulders because that's what friends do. Yes, agreed. You lost your legs during childbirth. But I have my own scars. I have my own cross. What do you want from us? Our lives? Or you want us to be miserable the way you are? Dear friend, now you know that I have been there before you.
Why haven't you been taking my calls? I, I was busy with a man, the baby. Too busy to check on a man? Let me check on the baby. Are you asking me to leave? Don't walk away from me, Ejiro! Baby. Aren't you ashamed of yourself for not giving me a child for the sex age to be married? Now you listen. Don't ever in your life say that to me again. Do you understand? And what are you going to do about it? See? I'm asking you, what are you going to do with the inability of not giving me a child for the sex age to be married? Now you're here being a mother to another woman's child. Shame on you! <gasps> shame on me? Did I hear you say shame on me? No. Shame on you for ripping off every pregnancy out of me. Shame on you for promising me love and care and you never cared for it. of time before you sought comfort in another woman's arms. Babe, listen, this is not what you think. Leave my house and never come back here again. Leave! I'm just worried about you. Where are you going from here? I don't want you to go back to him. Never. But I'll be fine. Are you sure? Yes. Yes. The cabman is here already. It's okay. Yeah. Tell to go. Tell her to bye bye. Tell good care of them for me. Alright. And you two take care of yourself, huh? That's fine.
she's gone. If he tried to kill her. Thank God I showed up. Even tried to hit her with a jog. I just found out that he has been raping her. I thought I thought he was a good guy. I didn't know. Hey, hey, could you just stay here and act like you're not hearing me? Ichiro is like a sister to you. She deserves better from us. What do you want here? Where's my wife? I want to see her. She doesn't want to see you. Ekene, don't play with me. Unless you do what? I'm asking you, what will you do? What is wrong with you, Efe? I mean, how can you be a rapist and a woman beater at the same time? Don't say what you don't know. Of course I know. I witnessed it myself. Remember the last time you almost killed her? Look, I wasn't going to kill her. Oh. I just want to teach her some lessons. Women are stubborn. I see. You're a disgrace to manhood. Ify, get out of my house. I can I? I said, get out of my house! Sovius did not even touch your food. Should I prepare your bathing water? Yes, get it. It's ready. Use the wheelchair. When I told you I wanted to pee. No, I didn't leave you eat now. Didn't you hear the baby crying? I went to attend to her baby. Send to her is all you do. Hasn't she taken enough of your time? What are you saying? Are you alright? What huh? do you mean? Are you alright? I'm asking you. What would five minutes take away from her? All you do is keep attending to her, even the little time that I need you to give me little comfort. How selfish can she be? Just keep quiet. What haven't I done for you? What is your problem? Huh? What is your problem? I'm asking you. I just need to attend to the baby and hear you, you, you're lamenting. What's your problem? 
Listen, since you came back from the hospital, since you give birth to this baby, all you've been doing is complain, complain, complain. Why are you, why, why, why are you pushing all the blame to the baby? Take it easy. Don't say that to me. I will say anything to you. I have worked on ice since you gave birth to this baby. And I've sacrificed everything. My job, my family, my mother, everything. All because of you. But all you see in this baby is pain. Stop. I will not stop. The only time I will stop is when you start to show me this baby love. She needs you. You're the mother. Don't. You know what? You can just go away. Go away since you think that you're already doing too much for me. Go! Leave me alone! It's fine. You think I'll argue with you? No. I will go. But you know what? Here's your baby. Ekele! 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 Tell Papa to come and get me. Oh, Mama, I will tell you everything. Yes. Mama, just hold on for a second. I don't know. Just calm down. Mama, can I call you back? I'll call you back. Yes. So you think I wouldn't find you? How did you find me? Shut up. See, I have moved on. I have left you. Just leave me alone. I can't. I'm not done with you. You're mine. Now take your things and let's, let's move. I'm not going anywhere with you. Take my wife! Leave me alone! Ah! Take my wife! 
okay, man. No! Ah! So you listen to me next time, confirm from your guests before letting anyone to their room. Do you understand? I'm sorry, ma. I'm sorry, ma. We really apologize for this. Just, just go, go. Um, how did you find me and why are you here? Um, babe, I'll be downstairs. Do you want me to go to Chita? No, don't worry. She's fine here. You were going to leave town without telling me. Why are you here? I deserve it. Yes. I know there's nothing I'm going to say to you right now to fix what I did. Ichiro, why did you not tell me about your faith? Why didn't you tell me what he was doing to you? And then what? And we talk about it. Really? You shut me out. You shut everyone out. You have no right to judge the decision I have taken to myself. I did not judge you. No. I am simply broken, broken that I cannot be there for you the same way you have been there for me. You have always, always been there for me. And I failed you. I, I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay. None of this is your fault. It is my fault. Yes, it is. Please. I'm sorry, don't go. Please. There is nothing left for me here. Nothing. I'm Chetha. You know you're the only one qualified to be her godmother. I'm sure she still wants you around too. I... Come on, stop, stop doing that. You look so funny. Stop, stop me! I, I hope I don't get used to it. No, it's fine. You won't, okay? You will come out of a strong. I miss you. I miss you too. I miss you too. It's okay. I'm so sorry. It's okay. So sorry. I it's fine. It's fine. It's okay. Stop crying. It's fine. I'm happy to have you back. Hmm. You both are doing so well. <laughs> Thank you. All thanks to you. I don't know what I would have done without you. No. It has been you. You've been so great in the face of your challenge. After being such a freak about it. You were no freak. What happened to you was traumatic. That's right. You were just being human. And selfish. Hey, babe, stop. Remember what the doctor said. No negative talk. Yes, and she also said, I can only be better if I learn to embrace my pains. Yes, that's true. <laughs> She's still sleeping. Please help me drop it. 
Thank you so much. Thank you. All of you have been amazing. Thank you for giving me the strength to stand my pain. I know my chance of walking is very slim, but my legs do not define me. They don't make me who I am. I am who I am just because I believe I can.